Hello everyone, my name is Vikram Anand and I am happy to share with you a few of my insights on understanding your reality using quantum physics. Though the uh, word quantum physics seems quite complicated and uh, quite uh, difficult to comprehend, but I am sure uh, this uh, presentation will, e will uh, help you to keep a brief insight on this science and its application on your day-to-day -day life. Here we go. First of all, let's start with understanding what is quantum physics. Now the main ideas of this branch of science are as follows. Number one, energy is not continuous but comes in small but discrete units. Number two, the elementary particles behave both like particles as well as like waves. Now by elementary particles, uh, we mean the subatomic particles. Like we all know the atom can be broken down into uh, subatomic particles like uh, electrons, protons, neutrons, etc. The movement of these particles is inherently random. That means it is physically impossible to know both the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. The more precisely one is known, the less precise the measurement of the other is. The atomic world is nothing like the world we live in. That's why uh, scientists are putting in so much of uh, time and energy uh, to understand the atomic world. Because once we understand the atomic world, we can extrapolate it uh, to understand uh, the way our uh, whole universe functions. Right. So quantum physics is an in-depth study of the building blocks of universe, starting with subatomic particles. It helps in analyzing things that are experienced in life in various forms and tracing them back to where they originated and where they are derived from, which is from pure energy. You might ask, oh, why should I know about quantum physics? Well, a basic understanding of quantum physics will assist you greatly in establishing the belief or the faith of how your life unfolds and as a result enable you to further develop your ability to quickly and dramatically improve the overall quality of your life whether physically, financially, relationally, emotionally or spiritually. Now let us peep into the history of quantum mechanics or quantum physics. In 1925 an incredible discovery was made by Albert Einstein. He gave the famous equation E is equal to mc square which means energy is equal to everything, which completely changed the viewpoint of Newtonian physics. As per Newtonian physics, it was believed that the universe was made up of solid objects or atoms which are attracted towards each other by gravity. But Einstein's discovery proved that atoms and subatomic particles could be broken down into pure energy. Though talking from the macroscopic level, the universe is uh, comprised of uh, uh, millions of galaxies like our galaxy Milky Way is one such galaxy and uh, we our planet Earth is a part of uh, one of the solar systems of uh, the Milky Way now the Earth is made up of number of individuals in different lives and forms say for example we as human beings are individuals made up of organ systems now every organ system is made up of uh, millions of cells now cells in turn are made up of molecules molecules are made up of atoms and atoms can further be broken down into subatomic particles and subatomic particles are nothing but in uh, in energy state pure energy it means that we exist in what could be considered as an infinite field of quantum energy soup just as an individual drop of water exists within the ocean now there was a contradiction though einstein believed that energy is in the form of particles while another great physicist of that time thomas young belief that energy is in the form of waves. So uh, who is true? Let's find out. So what quantum physics attempts to prove is everything at its core consists of pure energy and everything both the seen that is physical and unseen metaphysical is intricately connected with everything else and everything is nothing but continuously vibrating mass of pure energy. Isn't that cool? During that time, interesting concept was floated by the name of Copenhagen Interpretation. Let's find out what it is. In 1927, 
a noted physicist by the name Niels Bohr, some quantum physicist and some theorist joined together for experiments which is now well known as Copenhagen interpretation. Although Young was certain that energy was waves and Einstein was certain that energy was particles, the Copenhagen interpretation revealed that these subatomic particles weren't only particles at all but rather existed as and consisted of waveforms and or particles but, consisted, but uh, couldn't consist of both at the same time. That means the thoughts and the perceptions of the scientists doing the observation determined which one it was, whether waves or particles. So the observation of the scientist converted the waveforms of probability into particles of matter. Isn't that interesting? Well, let us uh, understand the, uh, the Copenhagen interpretation a little bit more. So the interpretation revealed that if a scientist studied this energy with the perception, thought or belief of seeing particles, particles were observed. If another scientist studied them with the expectation of seeing waves, then waves were observed. This discovery further proved to the scientists that anything and everything that exists in our world once existed as a wave that is uh, on a spiritual realm and through individual observation and expectation was transformed into particle made uh, materialistic or physical based on only what they thought and believed it would appear as. During that time, another interesting concept was floated called as quantum entanglement. A well-known scientist uh, named uh, Max Planck proved that the subatomic particles of energy, when broken in half, have the ability to communicate with each other and that communication is uh, received immediately from one to other regardless of time and space. So it overrides the old Newtonian physics theory that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Energy doesn't need to travel. It's already interconnected with all other energies. So let's do some reality check by way of quantum physics. Just as the subatomic particles took whatever form the scientists studying them expected them to take based on their thoughts, the events, conditions and circumstances that make up your reality take shape as you expect and believe they will. That means you determine your own reality. Your thoughts, which are also energies, which can, are determined by your beliefs, which in turn form your perceptions, are broadcast outward into the infinite field of wave energy, much like a radio frequency, transformed from wave, that is spiritual realm, to particles, that is matter, joined together with additional energies, which vibrate at harmonious frequency, and collectively joined to shape what you come to see and experience in physical form in your physical world. That means you, the world exists because you exist. As simple as that. So you have the ability to mold and shape the various areas of your life based on how you choose to think, feel and believe. Right? So what quantum physics basically tells us is, it's the act of observing an object that is your events, conditions and circumstances that causes it to be there and outcome is based on your choice and how you observe it. An object cannot and does not exist, uh, exist independently of its observer. So the quantum field is an infinite field of potential. Anything and everything that has, does or will exist in the Newtonian world begins as a wave in this quantum field and is transformed into the physical realm limited only by what can be conceived as truth by the observer and the observer is none other than you. So there goes the biblical saying that as you believe so shall you receive. Hope you found this uh, presentation quite insightful and the its applications are very much relevant to what uh, the way we perceive our life as. So I'm sure, uh, sure you will be able to apply these uh, concepts of uh, quantum physics into your everyday life and understand your own life in a much better way. Thank you so much.